Hi, we're here now at uh, Sam's house. I'm going to sneak into his workroom. Well, it's one of his workrooms. He's got two in the building. So let's just have a sneak through and see what's going on in Sam's room. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, oh uh, a bit private there. Do apologise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a bit private? No, not, not at all private. Okay, so this is your workroom here. Let's show us around. Sure. Okay, so um, we've got some printers in here that I'm currently working on. We've got the rat rig. Uh, 1.3 which is a 500 500 printer we've got the rat rig v core 3 which is a 400 400 printer and an array of oh yeah of course we've got the aot drop dome here look at that look vintage that is one of the first ones produced by mr towersy and as we sort of lurk around the room we've got uh, <coughs> so that was the insert for the aot droids that lee cut out uh, one of the videos that we did he tried to charge me 60 dollars for that one uh, we've got the Rise of Skywalker ticket, which was again Lando, Lando Carizian. Um, we've got a couple of uh, collector's edition pops there as well that I think Lee bought back for me. We've got the access all areas uh, information that we got from The Last Jedi when we did the red carpet stuff. Sort of as we move lower down, um, Oliver Steeples said that I should buy these um, 40th anniversary R2D2 and R2, uh, R5D4 um, toys. I don't really know why. Are they valuable now? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, you said they were at the time, you little bugger. You're right, Taylor Ridge. Yeah, right. Um, as we move down to the floor, we've got the T Rex that I'm doing at the moment, which is uh, a 3D printed massive T Rex skeleton head uh, that's going to be displayed at work. So uh, we're messing around with that. I have a plethora of printers over here, which um, I'm kind of working and doing stuff with at the moment. Uh, this is kind of where I record a lot of the stuff. The, uh, that's some artwork that um, the Tops cards that uh, Lee. Um, sort of frame out for me and of course then above that we've got the Star Tours um, Paris um, don't even know what that is artwork call it that um, we've got Michael Laws from Teaching Tech I always, always have him on my desk just next to me while I'm editing videos and as we move around the room we've got Sam Lee and a cup of tea we've got the uh, DiGostini R2 we've got a load of my UKG uh, helmets for Stormtroopers we've got R2Q5 R2D2 and the AOT droid here. Uh, we've got one of Michael Badley's um, Land Cruisers with uh, R5 on that. Uh, we've got a little bit of Polymaker filament there as well, which is nice. Uh, I'm just going to bypass that one. Yep, yeah, Grogan. Uh, we've got some DLTs and again, more pop vinyls than you can shake a stick at. Uh, over here is, I think I've got this for my. What did I get that for? Well, that was for a birthday from Sam, which might me as Batman. Um, and you can see that there is a Lee Towsey just to the right as one of the policemen. Nick, Nick uh, from Groovy Pearl Designs made that, which is nice. Um, and I guess some of the more valuable pops are going to be these ones here, which came from Celebration in Chicago. And at the top here, these are kind of my last 17 and droid um, related uh, UKG graded toys. So, um, and here we are, of course, uh, on my casting couch. So um, there you go. One. So here we are at the workshop. Uh, it's a bit of it's in a state of disarray at the moment because uh, I'm having a move around. Uh, at the back of the workshop, the CNC machine lives in there. But in here at the moment, as you can probably see, there's lots going on. We've got the new AnyCubic Viper that's literally just come in very recently. We've got the Mingda D2. We've got the Ender 5 Plus. We've got an Ender 3 down there, an Ender 3 down there, an Ender 2 down the bottom. Uh, we've got the new CR30 down here as well. Uh, which is the uh, Infinity printer. We've got a S5 at the back here, 3PO parts. We've got the Maker Made 300 here. We've got the Ender V2 here. We've got another AnyCubic up there. We've got the uh, GTEC A30 over there. And we've got a couple of Frizzin printers there as well. So uh, it's a small space. It's where I was doing a lot of my studio work from and recordings and stuff for YouTube. But as you can imagine in the summer, it's so hot in here due to the printers. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's absolutely unbelievably warm. So we moved into the house for the temporary 